It's recording, you see the red light. Right, we, this is the call on January 2011, I'm doing a little introduction thing. And we're starting with question nine. <laughs> Um, a circle with centre C has equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 2y minus 3 is 0. Find the coordinates of C and the radius of the circle. What do we do? This, this is where you tell me what we do. You put it in x plus 1 squared, in a bracket square. Okay, we put it into that form. So we, we're going to write x squared minus 8x. And then we're going to write plus y squared minus 2y. And take the 3 to the side. Remember how we, how we do these? And then we look at what we're going to add into these gaps. So our method for doing this says we look at the x coefficient, which is minus 8. And we half it and square it. So half of that would be 4, so square it would be 16. Now we've added 16 to that side of the equation, so we add 16 to that side of the equation. We do the same here, we take that minus 2, we half it, we square it, plus 1, and we add that. Now we add that over here as well. And that should now factorise into two separate bits. We've got x, what would this factorise as? Does that add? Well, x minus 4 that. squared. And this one would be what? Minus one. It's a quarter. A quarter or and over here we've got twenty. Yeah. And the question said the centre and the radius. So we've got that the centre. I think it four. 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 it's the same as. Um, they can't talk. <laughs> right the Can I ask you quickly? Yeah. Okay. One over four x. Just does nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> this would be on YouTube. You're saying 1 over 4x, save it for a minute. Can we pause it? Well, no, because then I've uploaded the two separate videos. <coughs> oh. I've ruined the video, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, carry on. Well, nobody will notice. <laughs> okay. No one will watch, watch it anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so the centre is the point four. What are the radius is? Two root five. Root 20, so we're going to write that as being. Two root five. Well, just okay. We've done part one. Part two. Um, find the values of k for which the line y equals k is a tangent to the circle, giving your answers in simplified form. Okay. If if what does the line y equals k look like? It is a straight line. Any more specific. Um, a straight line would have a concentration that's more than two. Can't be back in. It would be a horizontal line, wouldn't it? Y equals k is the form of horizontal, a horizontal line. So we want the line that is a tangent. So it goes at the top and the bottom of the circle. Now let's think about what we already know about this circle. We know that that this circle has a centre point four one. So there's the point four one. Now the top and bottom of the circle, this radius here is a distance of two root five. So the line that would be a the horizontal line that would be a tangent to that circle is the line that is 2 root 5 above that point. And it's also the line that is 2 root 5 below that point. They would both be tangents to this circle. Okay? So, um, the tangent in the form y equals k would be y equals, well that is 1 plus 2 root 5. And the other tangent would be y equals 1 minus 2 root 5, 2 root 5 below. Now there are lots of other ways that you could have done that, but that seems to me to be the simplest, most logical way of doing it. Find the values of k, just say that there are two values of k. 
Um, point three, uh, part three, the points S and T lie on the circumference of the circle. M is the midpoint of the chord S T. Given that the length of C M is two, calculate the length of the chord S T. Right. I, it, you know that this thing is all about having a diagram and starting to work out what's going on from the diagram. So here we've got our circle, and we've got two points on the circumference of the circle. And we're told that the length of the centre to the midpoint is 2. And we've got to calculate the length of the chord. So we've got two points, it doesn't matter where they are, that form a chord. And we've got, here's the centre, and we've got that distance there is 2. Okay. Now where's, where's this heading to, do you think? What else do we know that we can put on this diagram? Let's, let's mark these points. These are the points S and T. Triangle, where's the triangle, Dan? Okay. Well, a triangle is a good thing to go with. Look, that distance is the radius, isn't it? And if that distance is the radius, and that's the point M, we can use Pythagoras' theorem. If we look at the triangle um, CMT, then by Pythagoras' theorem, that says that 2 root 5 squared is 2 squared plus, are we supposed to be finding MT? Well, we're finding the length of chord ST. So MT squared. Easy question, what's 2 root 5 squared? 20, because 2 root 5 was root 20, wasn't it? So it's 20 is 4 plus mt squared. So mt squared is 16. So the length mt must be 4. And so the length of mt. Actually, this is all turning out to be really quite straightforward, isn't it? But this is the big question at the end of the paper. And, and every single time, at every stage of this question, the diagram is sorting it forward. Once we've got the diagram, the whole question is falling into place. We're on to part four, I think. Find the coordinates of the point where the circle meets the line x minus 2y minus 12 is 0. Well, as soon as we read that, what do we think? Simultaneous equations. That's it. As soon as we read, find the coordinates where a line meets the curve or the circle, it's talking about simultaneous equations. We've got x minus 2y minus 12 is 0. And we already had x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 2y minus 3 is 0. Now we could use that, or we could use our already simplified version of this. We just need to solve these simultaneous equations. And to do that, we rewrite them. So one of them says x or y equals. What would be easier this time? x. It seems to be easier to say that this says that x equals 2y plus 12. So we can substitute that into the other equation to get... This, which looks a mess at the moment, but hopefully it's going to simplify nicely as a quadratic. Um, if we square 2y plus 12, what do we get? Another 24y, so 48y. Um, 96 minus 2y minus 3. We've got some handsome numbers going on in all of that, which gives us what? 5y squared? Um, 30? Yeah. Ah. 
Um, it's 45 it is, yeah. Which is nice, because what can we do now? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Y squared is 6y plus 9 is 0. What can we do now? How does it factorise? Uh, y plus 3 squared. Which tells us that y is minus 3. What does this also tell us about this line? The question doesn't ask this for this. Why, why did you say that? It only hits it at one point. It only hits it at one point, so it must be a tangent. Yeah. Y equals minus 3, and we've got an x equation somewhere. Um, x was equal to 2y plus 12, was it? Yes. So if y equals minus 3, x equals minus 6 plus 12, which is plus 6. So we've got point 6 minus 3. Brilliant. Um, and that's the end of the question.